So let's consider what happens uh, in terms of being able to produce gametes, different gametes, if genes are located on different chromosomes or if genes are linked or stuck on the same chromosome. So what I've shown you here is a uh, parental cell, diploid cell, with a genotype, big A, small a, big B, little b. And notice that these genes are placed or located on separate chromosomes. And of course, chromosomes always assort independently. Um, normally, when you would figure out the types of gametes that this parent would produce, of course, we're used to foiling uh, like so on paper. What you're really doing, however, is you're not foiling the alleles as much as you are foiling the chromosomes. So really, what you're really doing behind the scenes is you're combining chromosomes. So let's go ahead and do that to figure out the kinds of gametes. And of course, the gametes will be haploid, meaning they have only one of each set of homologous chromosomes. That's what it means to be haploid. This is diploid and these are haploid. So if we combine the first chromosome, which carries the big A, uh, with the first chromosome, which carries the big B, our gamete becomes big big. If we com uh, combine the outer chromosome, because we're foiling chromosomes, so we're going to combine the outer chromosome, which still has the big A, and in this case the outer chromosome has the small b, that becomes our gamete. The inner chromosome is over here, uh, and we're going to be combining that with this inner chromosome, so that becomes our gamete. And finally, we're at this point, we're going to combine the, the uh, last chromosomes, and that makes our gamete small, small. So one-fourth of our gametes is expected to be big, big, one-fourth big, small, one-fourth small big, and one-fourth small small. All possible gametes are represented. On this side, I've given you a genotype of big small big small, but these genes are linked or stuck on the same chromosome. So we don't really get to foil the alleles, but we do still get to foil the chromosomes. Those uh, are going to be segregating independently, assorting independently. So now let's see, however, what happens to the allele situation and realize that this cell that I'm um, uh, taking through meiosis could really be the same as this cell, but in this case we were tracking a, the A and B gene and now we just happen to be tracking the A and E gene. And we don't care about any other, of the, any other genes, we're just not interested in those right now. So let's combine the first uh, chromosomes and let's combine the outer chromosomes. Let's combine the inner chromosomes and let's combine the last chromosomes. And what you will notice is that now our gametes look like this. And really half of our gametes are big, big and half of our gametes are small, small. So gene linkage really limits the number of different gametes that can be produced from the same parent.